JISC is developing the architecture for a basic learning analytics system, which it'll be making available freely to all universities and colleges in the UK. I'm going to describe to you the different elements which make up the system. Learning analytics relies on data from a range of sources. One of the main ones is the student information system or student record system. This will include data such as the student ID, the modules they're studying, and factors which might show that they're at greater risk of failure, such as low grades and previous modules of qualifications. Another key source of data is the virtual learning environment. We're using something called the Tin Can API, which allows you to capture learning events in the format actor, verb, and object. So we could say Brian viewed introductory video, or Helen completed final quiz, or even James commented on Susan's blog. Other useful sources of data for learning analytics are the various library systems, which capture things like visits to the library and details of the resources which students access. All this data gets sent to a learning records warehouse, which contains data in the Tin Can API format and in other formats too. This gets all the data into one place so that it can be managed more easily and analytics can then be carried out on that data. We're also looking at the potential for what we're calling self-declared data, where students can enter data such as their learning goals, or maybe even how they're feeling that day. Who knows, in the future, they might even find it useful to enter data from wearable devices, such as their sleeping patterns or exercise routines. The clever bit is the learning analytics processor which develops metrics for things like engagement and sends these to dashboards so that staff can see how well students are engaging with their studies. We're also developing a student app so that students can view the analytics too. They might, for instance, want to see how they're progressing compared with other students and receive tips on how to improve their academic performance. Much of the data for learning analytics is highly personal and needs to be treated very carefully. JISC is developing a code of practice to help institutions deal with the data legally and ethically. Meanwhile, we're also providing a student consent service to allow students to have some control over the kinds of data that are captured about them and used for learning analytics. The final part of the picture is an alert and intervention system, which can alert staff to students at risk of failure and can also manage the interventions that might take place as a result, such as scheduling a meeting between a student and their tutor.